Mobile network operators spend up to 80% of their capex on radio access networks, or RAN. Now, telco cloud disaggregation that started in the core networks is extending to the RAN. Joining me to discuss how HPE is collaborating to accelerate VRAN deployments is Martin Halstead, Senior Distinguished Technologist, Strategy and Planning at HPE. Welcome. Thank you. So we're all aware that disaggregation started in the core with NFV and is now beginning in the RAN. But what's driving the change from appliance-based solutions to virtualized, disaggregated solutions in the RAN? Well, I think it's the, the same reasoning behind why um, NFV took off in the core of the network, which is all about disaggregation and the separation of the infrastructure and virtualization from the network functions themselves. Um, the telcos um, have seen limited success in doing that within the core of the network, but the operational experience that they picked up in the core, they now want to apply that to the radio access network. And why do they want to do that? Because the telco networks are evolving to become CICD or continuous integration, continuous delivery. Um, and you need to do that from the core all the way to the edge, which includes the RAN. What technologies and innovations are HPE and Intel bringing into this space? We've been working closely with Intel uh, in terms of exposing functions and features that they have in their infrastructure which would benefit the telecoms operators. So an example of that is um, power management. Um, so Intel have some interesting developments in that whereby they can turn off um, compute nodes based on AI ML um, algorithms and our intention and where we are working closely with Intel is in integrating those functions into our software um, which would be enabled through our infrastructure. So why has Ericsson chosen to work with HPE and Intel on VRAN? So we've been working with Ericsson since the mid 2000s um, and so we have a very close engineering relationship with them. So they trust us and the platforms that they're going to deploy their software on that's underpinned by uh, Intel component sets. So I think between the three of us, we are looking at delivering uh, innovative solutions in the RAN, uh, especially in the case of Ericsson and their VRAN portfolio. So it seems like there is a lot of collaboration. What do you see for the future of these technologies? So the reason for the collaboration is because the stacks are delivered by different organizations. So the component sets would come from Intel, the network functions would come from Ericsson, the packaging of the uh, infrastructure itself would come from us, uh, and then we collaborate very closely together to integrate those components together. Um, I think over time what we're going to see is that that degree of collaboration is going to get more and more, and as we gain more experience, in, um, in integrating our component sets and then overlaying that with um, infrastructure and um, software management and orchestration, then we would realize the full benefits of uh, VRAM. Well, Martin, thank you for being with us today. That's a pleasure.